Hello and welcome back to Conversations with Carrie Ann. I am so excited for today's video. It is something that is near and dear to my heart. And it is regarding simple tips that I use every single day to help make my home a little bit more cozy. And I think that having a cozy home is something that not only is aesthetically nice, it really does help increase my mood. It makes my place a lot more calmer. I think it's great for my family and there's just so many benefits to it. And the first tip that I want to share is just uh, creating like a warm inviting light in your home and the easiest way to do that is through lamps and I do have lamps throughout my house I love the warm ambient light that it produces and there is just something very calming about using lamp light uh, instead of the overhead lights that you often have in your rooms and that is one tip that I use every single evening we always turn on lamps in our bedrooms and in the living room and I even have some in my kitchen as well very recently we had pot lights installed in our upstairs and downstairs hallway and I love the fact that we can dim the lights with our pot lights, you can make it very bright if you need it, but also you can make it very dim and low light. And that's perfect when you're just looking for an ambient light just to pr help produce a very calm or peaceful mood. Another type of light that I like to use are candles. And of course, for years when the boys were little, I, I didn't use candles because they just weren't very safe. But now that they're older, and if I am in the room and can watch the, the candle, I will light one if I'm working in the kitchen, for instance. Uh, a lot of times I'll even light one if I'm taking a bath in the evening. And so I absolutely love that. Of course, if you do have little children or you don't wanna use a candle, the battery battery operated candles are absolutely amazing as well and in fact i think i'd like to probably invest in some of those and that's going to be a future purchase that i'm going to look into for sure now this particular candle is a scent that i absolutely love it's called grandma's kitchen uh, but of course, I know some people are very sensitive to scents. Uh, but so I think even just having the candle itself, just the warm glow from the candle is so calming. I don't know if you've ever just sat and watched a candle. I think it's almost like when somebody has a bonfire uh, at the beach or something and just sitting and watching it is just absolutely the most calming thing ever. So I absolutely love that. Another thing that I will do as well is I will turn on our fireplace because again, just the, the light from the fireplace is very warm, it has a nice glow, and it is very calming. Another tip is to play relaxing music. And my favorite is to search for coffee house soft jazz music and that's my favorite i will just ask google to play that and i'll just listen to it for hours when i'm just kind of puttering around the house and it is just so nice and relaxing another tip that i have is to use scents Luckily, I am not sensitive to scents and nobody in my family is sensitive to scents. And so I love when my home just smells really nice. And one way that we do that is through essential oils. Um, I also, of course, get the scented candles, like I mentioned earlier. So that's another way that I add scent into the house. Uh, I also use wax melts. And recently we also purchased a scent air machine, which 
allows us to use cartridges that smell like Disney resorts. And so because I'm not going to Disney anytime soon, that is a really nice way to kind of transport me back into the Disney bubble. And I absolutely love it. But for some reason, scents are really... Um, they evoke a lot of emotion in me and um, bring back a lot of memories and things of that sort. So I just love scents. And the, this is probably one of my favorite ways of making my home really cozy. Another thing I love to do is to make coffee or tea and bake things too. I should have added that in there as well. So that always makes the home feel super cozy. And I think it's the, now this is the afternoon, so I'm just going to make myself an Earl Grey tea latte. Um, but just the, the fact of drinking something warm, having a warm mug in your hands, that's just cozy in itself uh, but also the smell that it evokes when you're brewing a cup of coffee is just the best smell <laughs> and I know Wes often says to me that's my eight-year-old he says mom I wish that coffee tasted as good as it smelled <laughs> because it's just it's honestly the best smell in the world I think so anyway that is one thing that I do a lot is just brewing a cup of tea or coffee and that instantly makes your home just feel a lot cozier for sure. This is a milk frother that I got for Christmas and I absolutely love it. It I used to just hand whisk my milk but this makes it so much creamier and it just makes the best froth ever. So anyway that is a Christmas gift that I received that was so thoughtful and just one of my favorite gifts for sure. I love adding soft rugs to my home as well. I just think that it really does add to the cozy factor. <laughs> Here's Jack here. And uh, I have um, a few rugs on my hardwood floors. I have one in the dining room and also in the living room and they just are really nice for the kids especially. So if they're laying on the floor, it's just very warm and inviting having a nice rug down. Another way to add uh, coziness to your home is through pillows and blankets. And I don't think you even necessarily need to buy the full pillows, but even just the pillowcases. I often just swap out the inserts for new pillowcases, and that really adds a lot of layers and textures to your bed or to your sofa and really really makes it a lot more cozy for sure. And here is my favorite blanket of all time. It is a quilt that my mother made for me and I absolutely love it and cherish it. And I hope that these tips helped you a little bit to think of ways that you can add coziness into your home. And 
If you do use any of these tips, I would love for you to share them in the comments below. And if you have any tips for me, I would love to hear that because I'm always looking to learn new things and, you know, add to my home as well in different ways. So I would love if you wanted to share that. And if this video, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. I will probably be doing a lot more videos like this in the future. And so I would love for you to subscribe and to um, follow along. So anyhow, I hope that you all have a great week and Thank you so much for tuning in and I will chat with you all next time. Bye.